What's up guys, it's Eric with TMBC. New for 2015, we are unveiling our hunting branded side of our company, Night Goggles. And uh, with Night Goggles, it's a more consumer-based, more hunting mindseted company where we're gonna be offering a lot of options for the guys that don't necessarily need, you know, the $17,000 thermal devices. Um, they just need to eradicate hogs, eliminate coyotes. Maybe they just like to predator hunt for sport. Um, so one of the offerings and one of our flagship products will be a Gen 2 Plus night vision PBS 14 device. Um, we will be offering these in your standard I squared or the green as most folks see it and also white phosphor variations. So look for that early 2015. We'll also be offering a Gen 2 Plus variation of the Sentinel goggle. The Sentinel goggle is a TMVC product uh, that we offered last year in Gen 3 configuration. However, um, they have been garnering a lot, a lot of attention and they've actually been uh, a very desired system that we've been selling. So we thought to offer you know, a dual tube system for the guys that can't necessarily pony up for a Gen 3 dual tube system. Now they can get it in a Gen 2 configuration. Still have all the same quality, highest spec Gen 2 tubes we can get our hands on. We'll be offering those in a, your standard I squared green or your white phosphor variation as well. And uh, pretty much we're gonna be offering a lot of affordable base systems that are still quality. Um, we're still behind every product 100%. We're not out here trying to push anything that we don't believe in and trust. So you can look for a lot of good offerings. Um, www.nightgoggles.com. Look for the launch of that website first quarter of 2015. Thanks guys for watching. Um, Trent Zimmer with Unity Tactical back again at 2015 SHOT Show here with Chip Lasky with TNVC. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the TAPS pressure switch. This is a, a pretty cool device. We spent a lot of time developing it and uh, it's still got some development left so it's not going to be available immediately but I want to talk to you about some of the features. So this pressure switch is fully programmable. Each button is programmable separately and you can also slave them. So you can uh, soft program them by pressing both buttons down for 15 seconds in a programming mode. And once you do that, you can uh, set the first button to be momentary only, constant on, or press for constant on. And you can also do that with a secondary button. Another cool uh, thing about this is that the leads are replaceable. So you can replace the leads with shorter or longer. You can have two LDI style leads, or you can have two Surefire leads, or you can mix and match. And depending on which port you plug it into, it allows you to select uh, which switch is going to activate which device. So it's fully programmable. It's fully set it up for your mission and your preference, however you want to shoot it. It also is M-Lock key mod and 1913 compatible. So you take off the back plate, and this is mounted on a Magpul M-Lock rail. And you can replace it with a key mod rail. Or you can replace it with a 1913 Picatinny rail. So for the key mod and the M-Lock rails, you don't have to add a piece of Picatinny. It's very, very low profile and lightweight, uh, and it's a really, really cool device. And the other thing I want to talk about is our Unity Tactical's M-Lock adapter. This is a very, very low profile 1.9 gram adapter that's fusion compatible. So it's an M-Lock to fusion adapter. It allows you to mount scout lights or any of the fusion accessories that you want to on, and it's very, very low profile. You do have to have backside access to the rail, so you, in most cases you do have to take the rail off, but it's very, very low profile. And uh, Chip, I'll let you talk about the TM-14. Partnering up with uh, Unity Tactical, we've uh, this year, well, a little bit into last year, uh, redid the uh, venerable TM-14. This is a uh, system that is designed for very quick uh, mounting and dismounting of a PVS-14 night vision monocular to a weapon, uh, also allowing you to very quickly take it off the weapon and attach it to a helmet mount. Um, we've uh, partnered up with, uh, with Unity to basically refine the design, make it a little bit easier to use, have a better ramp uh, lead in when you snap it into place, um, and then also adding a uh, lanyard loop so you can basically attach directly to the TM-14 any kind of lanyard for a helmet or for a weapon. But to demonstrate, it's a small ring that fits directly around a PVS-14 objective lens locking ring. 
and it works in conjunction with an Aimpoint twist mount base, which is what they uh, use for the Aimpoint three power magnifiers. And it allows you to just very quickly remove it, you leave the base on the gun, and the, uh, the footprint of the TM14 is so low profile that you can then also leave a J-arm or other kind of helmet mount adapter on the goggle at all times and just clip it right onto your head. So new for 2015 is the Mark II version of the, uh, the TM14. Thanks for watching.